recording has begun. Number four. So Welcome to the we are on to attempt number four. Uh, the last one was going really well, and then now I kind of know what to do in the, these certain situations. So we are going to choose a map this time. Um, Welcome we've done three key. where we hit random maps, and we're already overcoming so many crazy challenges that also having a terrible, terrible map. Um, it's just obviously not going to work. <laughs> so we're going to pick at least a year-long growing. I don't really care what what type. Uh, it'll be either temperate or jungle or arid shrubland or something like that. But we are going to start again, and we are going to... Um, I, was, I was tempted to do Naked Brutality, since so our research wouldn't be so terrible. But uh, I am going to go ahead and, and try uh, the tribal again. <laughs> Cold Bog, no, not again. It's going Rose, welcome in. So we are doing 500%, no pause, melee only, losing is fun, Randy, all that good stuff. Uh, still, though. All right. So, no pause, commitment, custom. We're going to choose losing his fun and bump that up to max, 500%. Uh, you know what? We will, all the new runs, we will honor by naming them after a hero of the previous run. This one, of course, is Tiberius. Is that how they spelled his name? We ran into two Tiberiuses. One of them was like that. One of them was like, I think the first one was like this. Yeah, and the second was an imposter. All right. Tiberius. Savior of the previous run really did. He was a random uh, empire guy who saved the colony. What if we have a run with no heroes? Tiberius's Tiberi. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do just 275, and we are going to pick. Uh, we're not gonna be like super specific. We're at least gonna hit a year long growing. Uh, I haven't done a jungle map in a long time. So maybe, maybe I'll hit a reinforce map. Um, and I'm not going to do a mountain map this time, but I might also try a mountain at some point. Uh, so we want to be within decent trading routes for the Empire and the, hmm, the non-tribal. So here's two tribal. We can set up down here and we're in trading distance from all these. This one's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get to, but we could um, we could drop pod to them, so it's not it's not crazy. Yeah, you know what? We haven't played in a rainforest in a long time. Let's do a rainforest. So that'll be fine. Um, I'm just gonna do an open map. I know we should probably do a mountain, but uh, I don't know. I feel like the last run went pretty well up until we all died. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go day one sleeping sickness. Yeah. That's the problem with jungles. That's the problem. Maybe we'll take one that has a river though. New start, yeah, we got super screwed last time. Uh, so maybe like there, we'll do year long jungle plus river. Yeah, that should be all right, right? Yeah, all right. So let's look on this river and see if there is a granite and marble, or at the very least, one that only has two stones. So there's sandstone and granite. It's not too bad. Marble, limestone, limestone, sandstone. Um, hmm. Hmm. Limestone, granite. That's all right. Let's go on smooth boy. Welcome in. First time viewing. Welcome in. How'd you find me? Randomize it. That's what we've been doing every time. But uh, no, not this time. I was specifically just saying that this time we're going to choose a map. We're not going to be super specific, but we are going to... There we go. That's good enough. Let's try it. No, we already did a couple. YouTube, of course. Awesome. We already did a couple cold maps that we hit randomly. I haven't played jungle in a, probably a year or two. All right, here we go. So we're going to uh, roll these and I'm mainly going to look for uh, a couple of builders, at least one planter. And I need to find someone that's really good with, with animals. That's one thing I talked about that we should have done last time before we even started the run. And I just ignored it. Uh, also, melee is going to be important, of course. Uh, we are using a special scenario. So actually, it's a scenario if you want to check it out so that we start with our five brawlers. 
and uh, it doesn't mean we're gonna win or it's gonna help us all that too much but all right we aren't using any mods this run so this might take a little re-rolling uh jogger undergrounder whoa they have four jogger undergrounder instructions really good I'm still gonna re-roll them though hmm. 54 years old 10 in planting 21 what can they do when they're not planting uh so we might keep them they can do planting and research so maybe leave them as a possible uh, let's just look at only animals here. Let's just keep re-rolling until we hit a good animal one. And we... There's a 9 of the passion. Psychically sensitive can be good. Man, I'm probably going to take them. So psychically sensitive, uh, perfect for a psycaster. Um, they're already good at melee, which we need. They can deal with animals, and when they're not dealing with animals, they can help plant or craft. That one is a guarantee. We are absolutely taking that. So let's get someone out of the queue. Who's the first name in this run? It's Plank. Plank Box. Congratulations. You're in. Alright. Now I'm going to look at uh, specifically construction. There's a nine. Tough. Jogger. One pawn start. Crack pawn. Give them an OP brother who can rescue later. Never done it because you figure the game would give you the brother and a drop pod too, too easily. Yeah, that would be interesting. We guarantee you have to save him. I don't know. There probably is. There's almost always a mod for that, you know? But almost always. Uh, this one's all right, but I'm going to... Man, I do like Jogger. Okay, well, dumb labor, though. Now, nah, we're going to keep rerolling. Um, some of these I might click through that are good because I'm literally just focusing in on construction, which is not how I typically do this. But I want to make sure this time that we get the absolute priorities and i should really look at some of those uh construction seems so much rarer than others um talking to someone on youtube comments about construct really good construction ponds being hard to come by apparently they roll less as enemies in a lot of the factions like they literally ro roll less uh so for burning passion so they can get higher in construction quickly so that's not a big deal they're already good at melee. So we're still, yeah, it's crazy. A lot of the factions... So, basically, a lot of the factions have these templates, basically, for what enemies they send at you. And it chooses from them. You see the thing like the Berserkers, the, the Penitents, things like that. Yeah, Empire, for instance, has three different kinds that they send to attack or whatever. And uh, they... Just like having certain backgrounds, they... Uh, they tend to lean on certain stats and, and miss other ones. And construction is one of those that are is pretty low. Bare hands, hardened to cooking rice and stuff. Yeah. So they can get up there quick and they're good at melee. So we might keep them. We're going to go ahead and re-roll another builder here. Another burning passion builder with a good melee. So we might take both of them. Even though, so that's high enough to build initial traps. And they're going to get higher up in in uh, construction pretty quickly with Burning Passion. All right. So we got our animal handler. We got two, um, two builders. Okay. So what's another thing we really need? Planting. That one's at 10 already, so that might be good enough. Um... And then we're going to have just about everyone research. So researching, it doesn't seem exceedingly rare. We have no one that's a very good doctor. So we might want to reroll until we see a decent doctoring stat there. Maybe like a seven, uh, six to eight. And then with other okay things. Good at mining in your experience. Yeah, that, one, I'm, that one's probably pretty a little rare too. Construction definitely seems crazy. Batman, welcome in. How's it going, Batman? Welcome back, welcome back. Almost wore a Batman shirt today. And I was like, maybe I should wear that shirt. What if Batman's there? He gifted me subs, though. No. <laughs> but I did almost grab that. Uh, yeah, so let's keep an eye on medical. So they, there are six, which is kind of one of the things I said. Uh, burning Passion, cooking. So we can have them cooking. 
uh, research and medical. That's not bad. And they can get, they can get their melee up. So right now our only real downside is, uh, is planting. So they can get that up as well. So, hmm. Yeah, this will be okay as a start, I think. You don't need to be. You shall always be yourself. Unless you can be Batman, then be Batman. Throwing concussive. Social can be hard to find as tribal. Yeah, tribal have some good miners. All right, let's name these guys. We got uh, Bathtub Pirate. You are in. We got Plank, which we already named. We got Ah Squid. Uh, Jamie. And Jer. All right, let me mark people off the list. Then we start tip number four. Let's go on Kiwi. Yeah, brand new start. Welcome to the queue. Okay. So here's what we need to do. When we get in, we need to find the anima tree. Welcome we are going to set up our base wherever the anima tree is, and we are going to try to get uh, tier six Psycasters as soon as possible to the so that we can get Neuroquake. Neuroquake is going to be our get out of jail free card. We're also going to, uh, this is the first time on this challenge we've had a year long growing map, so we're going to get to Devil Strand quickly. And we are going to try to buy some uh, tinfoil hats for Neuroquake shenanigans, and we're going to get a lot of, yeah, same rules as, as previously, though. We're not we're not changing the challenge up yet. We're just choosing our map is the only real difference so far. Having someone go with the animals is good in this kind of playthrough. Yeah, I do have... Um, hmm. Didn't we have... Yeah, we have someone that's a nine. So, I made sure we did have someone decent with the animals. I don't know. It's it's tempting to re-roll them, but they have other things that are really good, too. So, how the run end. Uh, basically, we were on... We were all, we had a lot of people that were already hurt, and then we had Pirate Drop Pod inside of the barracks while everyone was laying there. And then, as we were trying to get away from that, we got three more raids all within the same day. Uh, I don't delete the entries when I start a new run, no. So I think there's like a hundred names in the queue. All right. Do, do, do. Yeah, yeah. So we need to we need to get tin foil hats um, for sure. Because psychic drones for neuroquake shenanigans. We have someone that's psychically sensitive. All right. So find the anima tree. Set up a base there. Welcome to the queue. Let's go. Attempt number four. In the jungle. It's been a long time since I had a jungle map. How long until we die of the plague and cobra attacks? I don't know. Let's see which Randy we get. Fourth time's a charm, as they say. Hopefully we get the uh, beginning of run three, Randy, not end of run three, Randy. Oh, we start out with crappy animals this time. Sad. Sad. Last time we started out with a lab. All right, we can't pause. We gotta hurry up here. Where is the anima tree? There it is. All right, this is home sweet home. Uh, building allowance is not very good there, but it is what it is. And it's relatively central. So we'll set up right in here to start with. All right. Um, any rich soil close to the tree? I mean, that's not too far away. So yeah, we'll set up here. Okay, let's get down some rice. That's not too far away. We can do this too. Our modest fellowship expands. Who's that? Praise the sub. Boogerwood. Boogerwood, thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the Switch Prime. Count same as a tier one sub. So, probably never heard of this, but financially supports the stream. Thank you, Boogerwood. <laughs> you appreciate it. 
I'm also going to probably accept more people than I normally would. Specifically, people that are good at melee or at uh, animals will be really big. If we can get an army of rhinos or elephants. Oh man, if we get a, an army of elephants, then then we'll probably be in good shape. All right. Bitchin', so many of YouTube episodes. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. All right. So animatry is there. We're gonna set up a little base here. Uh, I am probably gonna segment buildings this time as well. So. Uh, something I don't usually do, but I feel like I'm going to this time. All right. Our community. Yeah, let's do it. I haven't, I haven't done that in a long, long, long time, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'll probably move it to the barrier setup uh, at some point, but initially we're gonna start out. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna even gonna. Well, I don't know why I canceled the whole thing. I think I'm going to do the 14 by 14. It's been a long time since I did that. Change my mind. I like the uneven one because then there's an actual center. You know? Okay. Seven, seven. Uh, knights. Thank you for the follow, knights. Welcome in. No pause, melee. Challenge. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. Or do you mean, you wonder if I'm going to beat it? Because I don't know. When our army of thrombos, I wish. Careful on the design. Oh. <laughs> Nine hours of YouTube? That's awesome. Yeah, thank you for coming in. I didn't even notice that. One, two, three... Stupid building affordance. Let's get done. That even with the best weapons of armor, they wouldn't be able to handle a high level raid. Nope, they're not. I, I tested out last night. I made a test map. I on fighter set, losing fun, all that stuff. I spawned in ten good melee pawns with the best like legendary mono swords, uh, cataphract armor, cataphract helms, all that stuff. And then I spun a single late game raid, and they were not able to do it. So. Yeah. We'll see. We shall see. I keep trying. All right, they're planting. It's fine. We'll switch this over to not wood pretty quickly, uh, but we need to just get get these rooms up. I will still probably switch the barracks after we get more people. To start with, we are gonna throw up individual rooms. Yeah, it, it didn't really matter. It was just so overpowered. How do they fare overall? Um, so they did decently. The thing is, if you, there's this like really cheesy exploit you can do. If I use that, all frontal attacks were, were fine. Like we, it could actually handle like full centipede raids and whatnot. But the problem came as soon as we, that uh, test map had drop pods in the base or uh, sappers, sappers were a big one for that. Um, they did okay, like maybe better than I would think against... So for instance, it was like 10 guys versus 180 tribals, right? And even though they were killing tribals in one or two hits most of the time, it's just there's so many of them that eventually people were taking damage on the front line. And even though I'd pulled them back, eventually everyone was, was damaged and they would just, uh, you know, trickle in. It was just this onslaught of tribals. So I don't, I don't think it's going to work unless we lean really heavily on animals or side casting or exploits or something. So we're not going to add additional item types yet. Uh, we're going to, I don't know how many attempts I'm going to give myself before I'm like, you know what? Maybe we have to use EMPs, but so far we're only on tip four. So we're going to keep going. No idea what it is or what it's about. What's your treats? 
Oh, I gotcha. So, uh, which video did you come in or did you find on YouTube? I would take a Thrumbo army. There's enough trees here to feed them. If we get a Thrumbo auto join. Excellent. Use more Zeus hammers. Yeah, but it's not the same. Quite the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too, is we need a lot of, uh, we're gonna have to rely on, rely on side casting a lot and animals, yeah. Say mags in the kill hallway. It doesn't, it doesn't stop them from firing on top of them anymore. Uh, specifically not with melee. So you can go test it. I mean, I was just doing it yesterday. But if you have something like this, I, I, well, I, I drew an extra one. So if you have like a kill thing leading to you, right? And the enemies are coming out of this. I'm not gonna draw the whole thing. You get the idea. The enemies are coming out, right? And you put sandbags or barricades or anything in here to stop them from shooting back but you melee block them, they will still stop and fire from here. As soon as they are in combat and they have collision at the same time, it completely undoes the sandbag, barricade, etc., and they will fire from on top of them. So. Need for gear is gonna... Yeah, the problem is we can't make the best melee weapons in the game, right? We can make uranium maces and plastic longswords. That's the best we can make. We, like... If you're using guns, you can make the best weapons in the game for for your shooters, right? But we can't, so. But anyway, this doesn't work against melee, unfortunately, unless the enemy is also just melee. They will fire back. Yeah, I don't know when they changed that. Uh, it was always the case that they could technically fire from those spots with, like if they came out of a stun or whatever, but now, they don't even need that. As soon as collision, if they're in combat and they have that word, if they're in combat, they suddenly can collide with other units. And that, I think, is what triggers them being able to attack from on top of uh, things they normally wouldn't be able to. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Firefighting as a one on everyone. Ready patient as a one. Doctoring, we only have one that's really good at doctoring. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to set all these as one for now, and then we'll go from there. Ordening as a one. Handling one. There's our cook. Hunting. No one can do that. Construction. Uh, growing. So that is one on all these guys. Mining. Smithing. go put crafting is two because that'll be block cutting as well we'll want him to do that after planting uh to get the base going i'm probably gonna set another person as construction that i normally wouldn't okay that looks all right it's good enough Oh, yeah. Bedrooms, at least to start out, yeah. Set of feeds. Stop on them. I'm going to do something to see how the late game wealth. I I mean, we didn't even get to late game wealth last time. We only got to like 90,000. We were doing really well. So I, the problem is we had an off map thing that stopped us. So my solution to having an off map thing or being able to defeat an off map thing is going to be to get Nero Quake. So, uh, Jamie, R squared, and Plank. So, Jamie, R squared, Plank. Yeah, it's gonna be weird using individual rooms. I haven't done this in a long time. Just try and get those initial, uh, Initial inspiration, especially like taming inspiration and whatnot. Then we'll we'll tear this down probably when we switch to stone and go for the um, 
barracks play again, as we usually do. Let's throw a sleeping spot in these. Man, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a hideous environment. It's alright, they'll get over it. Come on, plank. That done. Jamie, we don't even need that corner, we get it done anyway. Uh so wake up, bath subs, you can be sleeping indoors for your first night. And yeah, let's, let's keep going here. Jamie, please. I'm missing Octum so much. It's alright. It's alright, we'll get it done. that tree plank build your wall all right that i mean everyone is indoors the first night it's a hideous indoors but indoors nonetheless one doctor i know and we're in the jungle too <laughs> I mean, the other ones are not incapable of caring or anything like that, but they are for sure not good at it. Alright, uh, is there a table anywhere nearby that we can scavenge? <laughs> well, there's not a lot of pre-existing structures on this map. Holy crap. There's Ancient Danger right there. There's this little thing this wow yep. that sucks got some components nearby we got quite a bit of steel quite a bit of components nearby actually all right let's plan some stuff out while they're sleeping so today so we already got the food going the rice it won't take too long got some berries queued up fortunately those animals start with a bond so oh they're both bonded to jamie they're gonna die too. I kinda wanna eat them already. But I'm not going to. Alright, let's get a roof over our storage area. And we'll get a table down today. Fire going. Was there one at the top left? I don't see one, but let me know if I missed one. John Malinowski? I don't know if I'm getting your name right. But welcome in. Ferret? Welcome in. Saw one, there's one on the far left. Have you guys seen the sarcophagus? But I'm not a ferret. I'm guessing that's what you guys saw, right? 500% what? That's the the highest difficulties. So if you go into your options and storyteller settings, and you go down, uh, losing is fun. Starts at 220%, and we boost that to the maximum, which is 500%. Oh yeah, no worries. This is worth double checking. So this is a threat scale, so how hard raids and things like that are. All right. Looks like we'll just throw down a wooden table to start with here. Oh yeah, no worries. No worries. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll get this thrown out as well. Then we'll actually make a fueled one at some point, but. 
Go on, King Loser, welcome in. Are you dead yet? You're not even in yet. Can't die if you've not even been born, Narth. Your your day will come. Be patient. Oh, now she's dead. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come on, rhinos, self tame. You know you want to. We're gonna go ahead and set this to uh, butcher forever. Not your thing. Yeah, another playthrough is dead. Unfortunately, there's no real coming back from it. So here we are. Here we are. All right. Going to uh, make some wheel times four, make some wheel times one. Because we have X on both these. Uh, we have five tribals, so. Uh, let's put that on like 15. And then we'll pause at 10. Same thing here. 15, pause at 10. We don't want to overproduce, both because of wealth and because we won't have a freezer for a really long time. Rice will last for a really long time, unfrozen as long as it's roofed. Simple meals, not so much. All right. And we'll start meditating that really soon this time. It's my party and I'll die if I want to. All right, get some recreation down. Uh, we're gonna switch this to anything, two through five. Temporarily, we're gonna do this. We will definitely change that up. An army of turtles? It wouldn't be so bad. Not so bad. Okay, let's throw the doors on here now. All right. Individual bedrooms. What is this? Living in paradise. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is part of royalty. Yep. The animatry. Let's go on She-Wolf. Uh, well, I'm going to do both here soon, so, yeah, maybe I should do that right off the bat. I even said I was going to rush this. Yeah, you know what? We'll rush it. Before the playthrough, I said I was going to, and then I immediately don't do it, so. We need to get to Neuroquake. That's our Berserk, Berserk Pulse, Stuns, Neuroquakes. Uh, all these words of inspiration, joy, etc. All those are going to kind of be our ticket. So, invisibility. There's so many. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Meditations from nerds. How'd your meditation go today, Narth? We're going to go ahead and make five war masks. It's going to help protect our eyes. Get some steel. Is that rice going? It's fine. Look at all this capybara. So many animals in the jungle. Holy cow. Who knew? Jungle was so rich and diverse uh, with life. Uh, everyone knew that. That's who. That's who. Right. <laughs> Maximum level reached. What? Jeremy, what? Tier three. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Was not expecting that. Very much appreciated. Uh, much love to Jeremy for the support. There's very few people that resub at tier three. That is awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. Life and malaria. Instead of one big win, we avoid late game raids, or does one end up being high wealth anyway? I think no matter what we do, we're gonna have at least one get up to like 100,000 wealth, but I will be making multiple colonies, yeah. Probably sooner this time, too. Uh, Guardian, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. Thank you, Guardian. Much love to Guardian for the support. But yeah, uh, like I usually talk about, about not having all of our eggs in one basket, we'll, uh, we'll be 
doing that much sooner this time. Uh, Plank, hang on. What's up? We have natural meditation too. Hmm. Hmm. If I actually set this for you. I thought for a minute that they were ascetic. Because they were... Party was called off. Is it because his, he has a tree in his spot? I don't know. That's weird. I thought he was ascetic because I thought he was like meditating to the wall. <laughs> but... I don't know. Alright. Let's go ahead and name this... How's it going, Gerbil? Welcome back. Using emotes on Chromebook is awkward, really? So we need to encompass our little grow areas here. Oh, look at that. Oh, terrain affordance. Jungle. Whose idea was the jungle? It was mine. To the edge of the map. Ah, we're kind of the middle-ish. Middle-ish. Yeah, that, that place is just... That's burned to the ground. Probably. Mad tortoise. There's our first event, Mad Tortoise. We do not have any traps up yet, so this could actually cause an infection, be a bad thing. But uh, they're very tanky. What animals am I training as meat shields? I really want rhinos or elephants. I want elephants. <laughs> that would be elephants are strong in this game. All right, Tortoise Army is a tank. Oh man. Please don't bite someone's fingers off. Was that not the angry one? That wasn't even the angry one. It wasn't mass insanity, it was single insanity. That tortoise died for no reason. Well, I mean, he's meat, so. What happened to Jer? All right, he, he's fine. Don't, don't even worry about it. That's, that's medical experience. Speaking of defaults, we need to switch people to no medicine. Doctor care, but no medicine. All right. He is our doctor. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. You're fine. Just kill a random tortoise. Delicious. We actually need the food anyway. Uh, who is our cook? Gotta get used to these new names. Jerry, you're also the cook? Oh no, Jerry, what have we done? <laughs> what have we done? Is there another one? It was a mass insanity. Five dollars busted. Uh, Bar. Bar, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, Bar. Was not expecting that, but it's very much for shooting. Thank you, Bar. Eat, Jay, eat, and then back to carving up tortoises. Tortai. What is a group of tortoises called? They have one of those fancy names, like a murder of crows. Largely why the Galapagos tortoises came to the station because they were discovered. It was also found they are apparently delicious. Baby cares. Thank you for the 100 bits, baby carrots. A tortellini. A soup of tortoises. 
fell because they were eaten on the journey. A torture of tortoises. A generous bestowal. What? Uh, turtles and chill. Coming in as we're talking about eating tortoises. It's just called a shell of a lot of tortoises. Ha ha ha. Uh, Davey, welcome in. Thank you for the 100 bits. A creep. Is it really a creep? A creep of tortoises. All right. It's interesting. A generous bestowal. What is happening? Baron. Thank you for the bits. Thank you, Baron. That has that started a all aboard the hype train. Creepy. Thank you guys for the bits in uh the resubs. A generous bestow. I just keep coming. Dang, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, Davey. Fun fact, a turtle shell is actually its rib cage. Yeah, I know, I was looking for a YouTube video about that the other day. <laughs> no. Phobia of palindromes. Yes. Phobia. Wow. Wow. So the, the actual word for the fear of palindromes would uh be bad for that person to see or hear. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. What's going on, Sword? We are building an army. I'm not explaining. A bar. Or thank you for the gift subs. Ten gift subs. Go already. It's a to Another username to Tavasin to, to Ernak to Llama Eater. A Bove Ascendancy. Red Joker. Praff. All for their first month, by the way. Our An infamous wizard for three. Grows. Thank you, Bar. Um, more love to Bar. Hi, Wash. Thank you for the 100 bits. Your favorite is still. Oh, no. We had an auto join a Basie already. Destruction of Wildcats. Parliament of Owls. Optimist. Another tough. Steadfast. Optimist. Tough. All right. I hate Abasia auto joins, but that's a, a good one. Gesture. Get those in here. Holy crap. That might be the best Asia auto join I've ever had. Get them in there. That's so good. King Loser. They were the 50 bits. Thank you, King Loser. Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot to change this. Finish food restricts it. restrictions. Lavish. Turn off rotten. Turn off corpses. Turn off raw for now. Uh, and we gotta get... We gotta get some berries brought in. The rice, um, not done yet, so... Let's go ahead and set harvest on the berries. And let's cancel tree growth a grumble of pugs <laughs> grumble of pugs all right a generous bestowal another bestowal it's not you think we're the hunter bits doing dishes that heard hype train worthy bits happening all aboard the hype train yeah thank you guys i appreciate the support Keeps me losing at RimWorld for 40 hours a week. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I did not do that. So I'm going to do that as well right from the beginning. We're going to get a reward preference. Um, and I'm going to turn off... Actually, I might leave it this time. Because we want to get allied faster. So I think I'm going to leave it early on. Hmm. Turning it off means that we'll have more join opportunity, though. More of the rewards will end up being material or people... So do we want more join events early or do we want more rep? I do want to ally people much sooner this time. Um, yeah, I think I'm still going to turn it off to start with, though. I might turn it back on after we get to 10 or 12 pawns. No one can stop the hype train. No one. All right. Got a couple meals. Jer. Resting. Uh, we gotta get some more of the berries brought in. What's the rice at? 
Yeah, it's going to be done probably the next day. Big patch of berries that were on that side. I don't want to tra travel that far, though. Ah, there we go. Some scavengeable meat. Scavengeable meat. Could also kill some monkeys or an alpaca. They have smoke leaf dependency, though. Yeah. They might be over it by the time their abasia is gone, though. That would be kind of nice. It's like we don't even have to take their legs to wait till they're over it. You can get rid of drug dependencies. Yeah, you just outlast it. It'll go away. They'll have lots of mood problems and breakdowns during, but it's all right. They'll eventually get over it. I don't know. I don't know what the the difference is as far as Rimworld is concerned. That's a good question. I should test that. Tynan, why do you do this? <laughs> For the stories. Don't you remember the awesome story of how 18 pirates fell into our bedroom and there was nothing we could do and we instantly lost the run? That's a good story. Just that plant smoke leaf. <laughs> Out among the trees. Trying to hide it. And there's an event. The feds show up. What are we? In the 90s? 80s? Going, dare, daddy woke me. They can't have a breakdown event because they can't walk, though, no, so uh, we're safe from that. All right, Jair is cooking. As soon as that rice starts coming in, we'll be uh, be able to really concentrate on that research. Uh, I think I'm going to hit complex furniture and then stone cutting first. Yeah, they can't. They just room for it. Where's this death happening? Yeah, go, kitty, go. Do you mind if we eat some of that rat? <laughs> Legs trees. New game from before? Have you moved? Ah, uh, this isn't a new, yeah. This is a run four. Yeah. We're finally... Basically lost that, so. Unfortunately. But this is the run. Fourth time's the charm, as they don't say. But we're going to say. Should really put that down here. Ah, that'll be alright. We're gonna have a fueled stove for too long anyway. You have the hype squawky mode, didn't even know. That's right. Stall, welcome in. Uh, they say that the common house cat kills more, well, I mean, as a whole, <laughs> house cats added that they're the like biggest murderers in the world. They kill the most and not just to eat for fun and entertainment. Wait, do we just have a pile your name? We'll see. These yellow t-shirts. They they came bonded, so... Can't kill them yet. Ooh, a psychic drone already. Yeah, I can't kill them yet. So... Could, but... Not be good for us. Turkey's engine is never having eaten it before. Uh, I don't think, no, I didn't have the foresight to save them back then, so 
my first ever playthrough of Darkest Dungeon is not. Uh, there are some clips from it. So I think uh, exclamation the worst is a clip from my first playthrough of Darkest Dungeon before I learned what uh, st that's that's the clip where I learned what stalling does, for instance. There's clips from it, but the VOD doesn't exist. Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they sell okay. Are they, is it a male and female? It is a mating pair, so we can eat the puppies or sell them. 34 baby rabbits in about an eight-day span. She wanted more food. I'm giving her shrivels. Tom Tom and Nairobi. Oh, man. Jaren, I hate to do this to you. Well, I'm going to have to force you to make more food. So we have people that are literally starving. It's trivial right now, but... Yeah, that's how cats are, though. Let's go to Ronin. Rise will be coming in today. Then we'll be good. Then we'll be good. So we've already got attacked by a few tortoises. Uh. I just heard a cobra attack something. Yep. <laughs> well, there went Tom Tom. What's happening? Friggin' jungle? Oh, I don't even want to attack it, though. It just killed all of our animals. All right, you don't have to worry about that. It's not even a manhunt or anything. Instarot, thanks to the poison. Our community grows. That cobra's a bit of a butthole. <laughs> Welcome back to the jungle. Uh, Defat, thank you for the follow. And he just goes on his way, doesn't eat it. He's over killing more stuff. He's trying to get food. Cobras are pretty strong, but he keeps making the meat all rot, so he can't eat it. So he just goes and kills another thing. This is one cobra gonna wipe out the map. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't stop watching. Oh, he finally managed to kill something without poisoning it. I thought he was just gonna leave. He's like, oh, my work isn't done. Kill that cobra? Maybe he should join us. Look at him. Maybe we'll have a <laughs> attack group of cobras. I've never seen them do that before where it poisoned them all. So it's Daryl, new start, yeah. New start. Uh, we got a little bit of rice in, so time to cook some more. Cobra army seems like it would be pretty useful, yeah. So we're naming this after the hero of the previous run. We'll start doing that. Tiberius, colony number four. Yeah, they die really quick. They don't have a lot of HP. Evolution has, has failed the Cobras of the Rim. Tiberius. Could have put a four. Yeah, we could have put a four in there. Drop pile full of Cobras on an enemy encampment. <laughs> Hate to do it, but we're going to throw up wooden walls. And uh, we'll make them better later. Hunt sometimes, they gang up and hunt bigger animals, even wargs, probably something. Yeah, wargs are really good too. Release them. Will they bring Lucerian back? Like they will, the yep. 
They will. They'll come back. I think it was usually like two in their pocket, Fury. Hey, Modwife, thank you for the bits. I'm wicked Agent, welcome in. Our community grows. Uh, Evaldo, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. take advantage of this so a lot of people don't know this but if you're a, if your character or any character is standing in mud sand or water uh they can kick that item into the enemy's face lowering their accuracy by quite a bit so if we can set up a small area where we can take advantage of that but enemies cannot that would be ideal um so we might do that like up here so that we can line up in that that area, but enemies don't get that chance. So we'd have three here, so we'd only need to open there. You had an auto join that had a loose fear addiction, really? Yeah, that sucks. I thought they got rid of that. I haven't had that happen in a long time. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean they got rid of it, obviously, but. Okay, so we'll line up right here. And we'll do a little, uh, is that the closest edge? Uh, come through, we stand there. So we want it going this way. Good enough to start with. Eventually. What do you mean already died? We were like almost 400 days into that run. It's going to awesome chair. It didn't look like it. We were like 400 days into that run. Threw a little longer to you. Yeah. Sapper's going to be a big problem. We didn't get a lot of Sapper's last game. That run was cursed. Good riddance. It was going really well until... I screwed up that psychic drone event, but that's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way it goes. So we are going to use uh, wood walls temporarily, and then we'll convert these over to stone. Let's move forward here. Did I ever save scum? Nope. Commitment mode. Any new strats? I'm going to listen to what I said initially. So I'm still not to the point where I'm going to use like super cheesy stuff, which I might get to that point where I'm like, you know, you know that corner cheese that I talked about that I said I wouldn't do? Well, it's time to do it. No, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Prime Counselor died. But I'm going to do what I originally said, and I'm going to try to get level six side casters right off the bat, make allies as soon as we can, and uh, get a lot of animals. So those are things I'm, I'm going to focus on this time. I said I was going to do that last time, and I just... For whatever reason, I didn't. Yeah, wood walls are more wealth than stone walls. Yep. Yeah. Trying about that before. I love losing. I think it's fun. Uh, oops. So we're gonna put a stockpile up here for things that don't need to go inside. So we're gonna go down to uh, raw resources and we're gonna put stone blocks, blast steel, uranium, steel, it's fine. Llamas are decent. Yeah, they're not too bad. Their fur is like, you know, whatever. You can make stuff out of it, obviously. They're, uh, they're, they're pretty good caravaning too. All right. Silver, silver I'm not gonna put outside because enemies uh, will be prone to steal it. So I'll leave it in, at least for now.
Yeah, alpacas aren't too bad. They're not like something I aspire to get, you know? But this is rainforest, yeah. It's been a long time since I played on rainforest. Quite some time. Hate using all this wood, but there's like no structures to pull up here. It's crazy. It's the jungle for you, I suppose. Plus, just a bad seed. Tiberius. Well, this is the true Tiberius. This is what we named this one. But yeah, the other colony's dead. Rest in peace, Tiberius. Long live Tiberius. So um, I decided I'm going to start naming the seeds after the heroes of previous runs. So this one is named Tiberius. The seed is Tiberius, as is the um, colony. This is Tiberius full release 1.0. That's right. It's going left over. Would this be Tiberius? So an enemy pond dies. Oh, oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Jetson's based in 2062. George Jetson's 40. Thus, somewhere in the world, a couple is conceiving George Jetson. Fantastic. There's some uh, hentai somewhere I can pick. No. <laughs> sure is. Uh, thanks, Inspector. Let's go, Mongo Beef. Welcome in. Too fast. Tiberius. I think you got the Flintstones and the Jack Jetsons mixed up there. Phoenix just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. All right, let's see here. Uh, what's the difference? They're just space Flintstones. <laughs> All right, we got our initial setup here. So far, we've only gotten hit by a turtle. How much? We already got, uh, we're already halfway to our first side cast, which is nice. You guys remember that Cobra? It's good times. They're basically the same thing. This is the same image. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put that one there for now too. We'll uh, we'll change it up later. You know they're probably peddling that flying saucer <laughs> for universal consistency. Never thought of that. Probably right. Just in case we make a door in any of these places, I don't want them to. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over the place. And using all this wood. Scary. It's a lot of wood. A lot of wood. Sure, you fine. What's the worst that can happen using wood for your entire base? I mean, we have no structures around that we can rip down, so we'll replace it as soon as we can. That'll be one of our uh, goals, but in the meantime, 
what it is. the benefits of the jungle we got lots of wood wood for days wood for years there will always be wood follow me until the talks fall comes some happy little rooftops fire's a silly myth yeah could you imagine losing a run to a fire who would who would ever do that <laughs> flat colders <laughs> Sad but true. That's not true at all. <laughs> all right. Let's get some hill root going. Minor break risk. Jamie, what is going on? Oh right, your two dogs died. Yeah, I do need to do that. Can we hold it open in the meantime. Thank you. What a weird shaped base. What even is this? This is like, these are the eyeballs. I don't know what this is. Some strange head. Our community grows. Johnny, thank you for the follow, Johnny. Welcome in. Transport pilot crash. Sam, jogger, look at you. 52 years old. Uh, Zero melee. You're not affiliated with anyone, so... Ah, Squared, would you like to come down and strip this young lad? Ah, Squared? <laughs> Devil Strand? Nice. Nice. They've come to save me! A random map. No, this time we uh, we decided to pick a year-long growing to give us a better odds of success, but it's hardest climb a tree. Yeah, they do that. Sorry, Sam. We came to save your clothing. You we don't really care that much about. Just, just being honest. Alright, sit up inside the walls. The wolves, the wolves. Our wolves under attack. Thank you, they are billions. Yeah, so that's the first time I played jungle in a long time, so it should be interesting. Uh, if you just if you think disease is interesting. But it was not completely random this time. Uh, our previous three attempts were random maps. I figured with how crazy the run is, we would just do a year-long growing, either jungle or arid shrubland or temperate forest or something like that. Give us a little bit of breathing room with everything else we're having to overcome, you know? Hopefully it helps, I don't know. Let's see what kind of randy we get this time. Hopefully it's the beginning of run three, Randy, not end of run three, Randy. Yeah, this will probably be good. Uh, I want to find an aesthetic pretty quickly, too. Just as like through the bedroom. Uh... Yes, I love these. How's it going? Dude, to welcome in. <laughs> the Wiggler's an unfortunate FedEx employee. <laughs> Just delivering clothing, yeah. Feed them. Feed them. So far we've had uh, an animal insanity. An auto join. Is that it? Uh, we had a psychic drone. We had a really early psychic drone. That might be one of the earliest I've ever had. It was like, what, day two psychic drone? Dangerously low on food. We're fine. 
264. Heat stroke, yeah. A little worried about that. Uh, I don't want to have to use the passive coolers, but I think I'm going to have to. Takes so much wood. And since I'm not doing a barrack setup, yeah, the auto join is super good. Crazy good. But, Gun Gear King, welcome in. And we might convert this to a barrack sooner than I thought. We'll see. I do want to do that. I was just trying to get an initial mood boost off of uh, individual rooms. We'll definitely switch to barracks at some point. I think I'm going to segment the rooms a lot more this time, too. Uh, um, drop pods are really deadly in general, so segment them anytime you can is a good idea. And it might be even more important with melee. Because if we have a lot of really small rooms, even though people are going to be upset that the rooms aren't as fancy, if we have a lot of small rooms and drop pods fall in, they're spread out like three people in different rooms, we can just go in and manhandle three people and go room to room, you know? Rainy's all about the drop pods today. Chirpy, you look old. 54. You would be called Chirpy with a, with your social. Uh, they're a member of the nation of Evo Wayne. We want to ally as many people as we can this time, so I'm probably going to save them. I don't want them to join, so I don't want them to be too comfortable. <laughs> but uh, we'll save them. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the last one, yeah, it's, it's like he, he, well, that that made sense because we were uh, our population curve went down so much because all the people we lost, so we had so many events. But Cobra Page, oh god, the Cobra, yeah, I've never seen them do that. It just kept killing all of its food on accident, or I mean, uh, poisoning all of its food. We have year-long growing. We can afford to do a little bit of corn there. Feel cathartic, which is where you learn from emeralds. It's a nice man. 5.30 didn't go to sleep for 12.30. Ended up sleeping about 15 hours. Man, I wish I could sleep 15. Yeah, that freaking cobra, what's the... Jamie, I know it doesn't feel like it, but you're going to be over your uh, dead dog in exactly expands. 16 days. Praise the sub. Praise this. Uh, Jason, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Jason. Very much appreciated. Uh, obviously, helps support the stream. So, I don't usually talk about stream money and stuff like that a lot. However, we are currently at uh, the same sub count we were about. Our modest fellowship expands. Mongo Beef. Praise this. Mongo sub. Beef, thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, Mongo. And thank you, Jason. We're finally at the sub count that I used to be at like three years ago. So like three years ago, I used to sit around 600 subscribers and then it fell pretty quickly. And we've been staying at like 300 for, like I said, like three years. And we're, we're back to 600 for the first time in three years, which feels pretty awesome. So thank you guys for helping that. Getting much closer to just being able to do this and not have to worry about money outside the stream and stuff. Um, and all those subscriptions, Twitch Prime, all that stuff helps a ton. So thank you guys. Much appreciated. I was actually surprised I looked at the sub count last night. I was like, Welcome to the queue. Whoa, we're finally getting to that point again. Failing. Violence is all the answers. Use all the colors. <laughs> Suck it, but can't kill me. Oh, you survived. How's it going, Failing? How are you and the Fae fam doing, by the way? I haven't asked in a little bit. Hopefully you're doing all right. Uh, we gotta get this. All right. We gotta hold this door open before I forget. And then we need to get this done. Uh, R squared, do this really quick. And then Jamie's also a builder, but he's kind of upset, so I'm not gonna. All right, so we should be good against man hunters and animal and sanity stuff like that. We got this door that we can close. Uh, so we want to extend this out, add some more traps. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly Bop. appreciated. Uh, Bonj Vop, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. Three months! Hey, Bonj. Very much appreciated, like I was just saying. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead with the traps first. 
So a wooden trap is how much wealth? Like 50 to 75? Uh, welcome back. Your steadfast Man, loyalty is this week? greatly appreciated. Just kidding, we're really pretend he cares. Uh, Shinghai, thank you for the Twitch Prime also. Two months. Well, that's almost a full year. That's right. Thank you, Shing. Welcome to the queue. Bulk goods trader. I mean, we don't have anything to trade them, but it's kind of a, a nice thing because they're here to help us with defense. So we can more uh, brazenly do things while they're here. We need to get more and more wood brought in. That heat stroke is a little bothersome. If we get this done, it will mean... Um, I mean, at least they have a place to go kind of cool down a little bit, but they're still getting slept in the heat and whatnot, so I might just bite the bullet and put one of these in each room. I really hate doing that. Torch also gives a little bit of heat, so it's like very counterintuitive to do, but... And we don't really have anything to sell them. Hmm. Welcome to the queue. God, all these cats coming in. A little bit left over. You've drastically slowed, slowed down though. Yeah, I know. At one point you had spent like 50,000 channel points or some ridiculousness on just cat names. Or just the name cat, I guess I should say. The cat joke will never die. Okay, we're almost to our first... Uh, what is going on? Transport pods like crazy. Who are you? Zane. Nimble. 28. Construction. He's not too bad. Uh, Nimble is, is good for our melee playthrough. We don't have a prison yet. So I have to change this. Um, either way, I want to grab him for... Man, it's raining men, yeah. Haunts? Welcome to the queue. Uh, 70. Dead dead but we can use your clothing actually i know i'm not going to it's tattered anyway but it's not that great let's run and capture this guy i don't know that i'm going to keep him we can get some uh experience he's a member of the pirate so he's i mean it's we're not gonna get any rep for release him running patch construction at three so he can build traps and get his construction up pretty quickly cooking it'll go up pretty quick as well not terrible i wish these points weren't wasted in shooting for us like that's weird to say like normally a 10 shooting this early in the game is like oh yeah give this guy a bull action let's go but nimble is good too smart he's gonna level those up really quickly i don't know it's like the game knows what challenge him on Oh, you need lots of good melee characters here. How about some burning passion with guns? You're welcome. You're welcome. All these transport pods are crazy though. What kind of gear does he have? Parka. Uh, he actually has some okay gear. Shoot ability to what weapon to give the pawn? Yeah, so basically, you want to try to get to uh, SMGs as fast as possible. And then anyone at all that is under 15 shooting skill, give them an SMG. Almost regardless of what else you have, just give them an SMG. SMGs are so good. They're low wealth. They're easy to make. They're kind of a low to mid tier as far as like uh, research and whatnot. Give them SMGs. SMGs are incredible, uh, even with poor shooters. Really, really good. Oh crap, we need wood for that. Um, once you get to 15 with nothing else taken into consideration I should say like there's some caveats to this as far as like quality of the weapon and you know bionic eyes and all this kind of junk but anyway once you get to 15 then the uh, assault rifle battle rifle whatever you want to call it that takes over as far as uh, just doing more damage to the enemy 
And then in pretty much all cases, charge rifle is better unless the other weapon is at least two tiers higher. So like a, uh, a masterwork SMG is still gonna be better than like a normal charge rifle, but it's pretty close. So long story short, get heavy SMGs on everyone as fast as you can and then graduate uh, once they get more skilled or once they get a bionic eye, etc., cetera, uh, to assault rifles and charge rifles. Now, there are lots of other weapons that are pretty good. In early game, you might just use whatever you get, but uh, are charge rifles that good? Yeah, charge rifles is the best range weapon in the game. I mean, practical. Like, mini guns, actually, if you can... Mini guns and chain shotguns actually do more, but it, they take a specific setup where charge rifles are just good all around. Uh, it's not really about the range, right? Because you're not gonna fight in open combat very often. So you're gonna make it so that they're already in the best range for your weapon when they enter the area that you're gonna kill them in. So, and then if you get things that are falling on top of you, they're already in short range anyway. So yeah, charge rifles are really, really good. Kind of crazy. Jump to rifles too soon then yeah it's like you won't be disappointed smgs are good even on crappy shooters it's that's users so good lmgs on the other hand they're pretty bad lmg is like a really crappy minigun yeah yeah that's a good way to put it charge rifle is the best all-around ranged weapon uh yeah this is run number four astro yep Run number four. Yeah, it's pretty necessary to make at least, I mean, at the very least, even if you don't make a kill tunnel or kill box, you'll still want like an outside wall and that's gonna force people to come to your range. I mean, that's, you can play challenges where you're not making outside walls and stuff, but especially on these harder difficulties like 500% or just losing is fun in general, the enemy raids are going to scale to such a huge amount that you're going to be outnumbered literally like 10 to 1 in the late game. So it just makes sense that you would want to fight on your own terms. What's the best melee weapon? It depends on what you're up against, but all around best melee weapon is probably the mono sword, just because of how much armor pin it has. Mono sword, um slices through armor really really effectively so it's really good against mechs obviously sprinkling in like a zeus hammer is good because it can stun the mechs uh but those are your two like tippy top ends before you get to that it's basically uranium maces and plastic long sword still yeah i haven't tested out the axes enough i need to do that on paper they're not as good as like plastic long sword but i haven't tested them in the actual game Man, I don't think this guy's gonna survive. He came with gunshots. Yeah, as far as like killing people though, those are the the two top in. Maces are less likely to um to like dismember people, so they're less likely to bleed out as fast. But I mean if the population curves high enough, mace is gonna insta-kill as often as a sword. But it just depends. If you're trying for raw DPS, like the, the maximum number of damage, Plastic Longsword is going to have better armor pin, which is weird. To have better armor pin than a blunt weapon. That's how Rimworld is. Swords have more armor pin and just has more raw DPS. And there's some other surprising weapons too, like Thrombo Horns. Thrombo Horns are actually really good. They're like the next best thing that you can get without trading and whatever. Thrombo Horns are actually pretty good. Same spectrum axes, yeah. It's more like a ma, like a rapier, yeah. All right, so we need to get these done, so we're not getting uh, slept in the heat. Oh man, serious too. All right, let's just get this done. Crap. Let 
the jungle, man. Gotta uh, respect the heat. It's been a while. Yeah, they've been nerfed a little bit, but they're still almost as good as, like, a you know, plastic knife or something. Yeah, it's, it's still surprising to me how good they are. Mighty jungle. Run sounds not too likely. Yeah, we'd probably have to cheese them. person you touch with it. It's two, three missing limbs, yeah. Monsters are, monsters are so good. That is the problem with uh, those sharp weapons. Even the, like, plastic long swords we're talking about absolutely maim people. I don't know. I think the only problem is the mood debuff from him dying. So, I guess we should just do it for medical experience, even if he dies. I don't think I want him to join. He's all right, but it's not like. Yeah, I might just go ahead and switch to the barracks already. Then we can plant uh, flowers in here and make it more impressive. Then we don't have to use four coolers for this. So we don't have vents yet. I don't know. How about you, Chirpy? I don't need those. Uh, let's go ahead and make the work area. That way we're not uh, going too far from the base here. We can call them back pretty easily. Right. Video four, how many events? Yeah. I was trying to prevent the disturbed sleep and stuff so we can try to get some inspiration, so I doubt it's gonna happen. Yeah. Got Ariana. Oh man, we already got our first uh anima link ready. I think we're gonna have a breakdown trying to link to it, but probably worth. Uh, all right, plank. Love them so majestic. Do all things prisoners, but thrombos. You love them, don't want to harm them. <laughs> Try to tame them, even though it never works out out well. Yeah, thrombos are pretty awesome. Um, right. barracks. I'm going to do a barracks. Yeah, I just started with the rooms just to get initial mood boost here. Oh, no, Plank. Crap. Sorry, Plank. I didn't mean to do that for you. Oh, you're almost linked. Sad times. Sad times. I panicked. No. A little, a little. A little panic. Yeah, we'll end up switching to the barracks pretty soon, actually. Thinking about doing it already, but haven't have 100% haven't decided. You keep an eye out for an aesthetic pawn, too. Get an aesthetic royal early on so we can get some of the initial powers going without uh, ability to trade and whatnot without having to worry about 
special room or anything. Okay. Good enough. Boil the funny bone, it becomes a laughing stock. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Actually, haven't heard that one. <laughs> Yeah, but have you ever tried thrimbo meat? Might change your mind. First breakdown. Yeah. Alright, we got our first Psylink. Let's see here. We got stun! This is the blessed run. We never got stun. We tried to get stun last time on like 10 different people. It never got it. Stun is going to help us out. It's a really good tier 1 when we get. We're going to trust. It would probably been even better. That's Which is what we got last time. But <laughs> Usually you tell dad jokes to be the only one that laughs. That's how it goes. Not chunk skip though. Let's go on Magnites, welcome in. <laughs> Man, I might have to do the door thing. This is just too much. Kind of gets rid of part of the reason doing this, but slow pinhole would not be too bad here, surprisingly. Yeah, Bath and Pirates not gonna be happy about this, but whatever. All right, you guys wanna get some melee experience? What? You mean our medical and melee experience guy here? Absolutely not. Uh, Zan, think of the resub. <laughs> Thank you, Zan. Nine months. It's almost a full year. Now, we are going to use him as a bit of a punching bag to get our melee and, and doctoring skill up some. So he's going to cost us a little wood, but you know. It's all right. What's well, a little wood amongst friends? We're definitely friends with him. Hold that open. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this two. Let's see if you're in there now. Yeah, that should, that should do. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna beat him down a little bit. No, <laughs> no, I don't want a melee experience. Now this whole place is a prison. I 
bedrooms. Yeah, to start with you. And we'll go from there. Probably switch over to barracks once we get uh, stone and beds done. First raid. Uh, Jamie's having a breakdown right now. He's inside, though. We're attacking immediately. Initial raid is for the traps to take care of him. That's fine. He's got to worry about Jamie here wandering out. Should be all right. Another raid. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's crap? <laughs> Come on, Randy. What the crap, man? It's not cool. Are they enemies is a question of each other. like they are enemies of one another. Get him. <laughs> Whoops, I hit the incapacitated person. All right, two raids and one handles. Slothful, no. you have a synth thread <sighs> who's bleeding everyone man so we got r squared and plank both bleeding anyone else that can doctor jamie can doctor help stabilize some people well he's having a breakdown but after that okay r squared good plank one more good bath the pirate oh no breakdown jay oh whoops <laughs> come on jamie get out of there Okay, they're stabilized. We're gonna do one meal at a time right now, uh, just so that if they have a breakdown, they don't lose out on four inflations at once. All right. Which one? Were they tough? Might have just been drugged out of their minds. I don't know. Oh, there was a nimble one under there. Maybe that's the one that we were having trouble with. Maybe. All right. Looks like we're gonna be all right though. Uh, zone. Let's make a dumping zone in the river. This is critical and we're going to uh, just put corpses in there. 
Human like corpses. Yeah, there we go. Uh, not colonist. Okay. Power generating river. Uh, that's a little thin. I don't know that we're going to be able to fit very much in there. Like down here, it looks like we might be able to fit one, but yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fit too much uh, hydro generator on that river. More like a creek. Should have probably picked a better river spot. I'm not going to. Can't tell me what to do. The bath. I think Jamie's losing it. <laughs> yes, he was was literally losing it. Let's see, drop on the floor. Drop on the floor. All right. There you go. There you go, Jer. Those meals done. Okay, temperature's looking good in there. So we gotta get these traps back up. Uh, and then once we do that, sit back and get some research done. Hopefully Rain doesn't attack us two times in a row like that again. Got some sort of mod conflict in your game. Whenever you order a colonist around and right click on a door, Octon blocks it, gives some error. Hmm. Selling food, you can min max and only grow what you actually need. Yeah, we'll we'll end up overproducing a little bit just in case of any kind of uh, events, you know. But yeah, it'll be really nice to have a year-long growing map for a change. We haven't had one in quite a while. Do we have any psychopaths? Be awesome when they get up. The nails around? Yeah. No, you can do that. All right. Jamie, go ahead and break that down before they end up fueling it. Yeah. Yeah, feed them, please. An auto join, red. Okay, at least they don't have hair like. Hey, bloodlust, too smart, bloodlust, fast learner. Ah, uh, they're not too bad. Bloodlust is uh, more likely to cause social fight. Hmm, what is our cooking person doing right now? Predominantly cooking. Really good ranged pawn. Hmm. So we can put them on cooking and then switch Jer over. Where's Jer got? He's got undergrounder. We want to leave cooking on him. Look at him. I don't know, Red. You're not really great for this colony, honestly. Yeah. But we need bodies. We can put him on research, even though he doesn't have a passion for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. All right. We need to take more people than we usually do, even if they're not. I, I'm usually pretty particular about the first uh, up to like 10 or 12 colonists since we have more joint events during that. Man, Accord, you're in again? How many times do you enter the queue? All right, Accord. So you are going to research. If you don't have anything to research, you'll clean and haul. If you don't have any of that, you can cut blocks. All right. 
as well we have burning passion yeah uh bloodlust can also wear uh tainted clothing right yeah bloodlust does have the morbid sub trait so they should be able to move the corpses and wear tainted clothing which is going to be nice as well so yeah i think they do right yeah uh oh accord there we go yeah enables meditation focus morbid yeah Paint. He came with a gun. We gotta drop that. Uh, screw it. Yeah, we can just drop it in the river. Who knows when we're gonna have the opportunity to, to sell it? So, all right. Anyone else ought to join with a gun? Wash away the blood. Okay. Let's have you haul the rest of these bodies. Uh, I actually done something really quick. Should only take a second. Don't let me die. Rain just sent two raids. Surely he's not going to send another one. Steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright. Don't you do I'm regretting it. Well, sometimes I do do individual rooms in the beginning and then I change it. <clears throat> so I am going to. Otto, think about the 12 months. 12 months, that's almost one entire full calendar year. Almost. Uh, thank you, Otto, for the resub. When's that guy gonna die? <laughs> the one over here? I don't, I don't know. Are they a wimp or something? No, they're not even dying. They just have, they're, I don't know. <laughs> it sells. 12 months is actually nearly a year. Yeah, almost. It's really close. Otto's got to come back and resub next month to make sure they don't lose out on that year mark, right? It's playing possum. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm a corpse. You're going to dump me in the river. I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk off the map. luck with that. We're buffed. That's a pirate. You are pretty far from home. You need to wander back. Alright. Yeah, that's a really weird uh, bug you're having here. Yeah. Very weird. Okay.
Man, that guy's still not dead. Huh? What's happening? What's happening? Remember that time I accidentally... We had an anima tree right next to our base in like a really good spot. And I just cut it down. I'm not even thinking about it. I was dragging across. The next thing I know, gone. Anima scream. Finally getting some uh, research done. That's a pirate's on his way back. Taking wine corks. Named the shape after their secluded rooms. This is interesting. So how big were those raids up? Five, five or six people each? Okay. And what are we, uh, what's our current wealth? 18,000, oh god. I gotta get this wood replaced. It's four and then five, yeah, so. Oh. I'm guessing we can get anywhere from maybe like four to nine raiders right now. So definitely want to get those traps. I cannot believe this person's still alive. They're going to end up uh, starving to death. Just going to lay there and start to crazy. Do you have any clothes that we want? I never even checked. Eh. Got some alright pants. Nah, it's fine. Rest of them let go. I don't know. Are they... Oh, they're actually a member of this. I thought they were a pirate. I forgot that there was two different groups. Oh, God. Yeah, we need to uh, get the rep for them. Whoops. Uh, Non-natural meditation. Uh, yeah, it grows grass. They just can't link with a tree. As far as I'm aware... Anyway, it was like that. I don't think it's changed, but yeah, people even that aren't natural meditation focused can meditate there, uh, help grow the grass. They just can't link and get the, you know, the side casting from it. Unless it was changed. It's the last time I checked. Always possible, Rimworlds. Need more wood, huh? Yeah, always need more wood. So we already have stun, which is really nice. Uh, who ended up having it? Plank. Plank had it. So let's put Plank in the front so I can more easily remember to grab him. Three days of letting him lay face down in the mud. Oh, right. Uh, we actually want to befriend you. You've had your punishment. You can come in now. Well, update the summer coming up on a year since the last one. It looks like there's something coming, Currents. I don't. I mean, who knows the time frame? But it looks like they're getting ready for something. Judging by like the preload or whatever it's called up on on Steam. I hope so. That's you, Plank. You're in. I hope so, but I guess we can just wait and see. Oh, Another surprise expansion. Grows. I kind of like that. Uh. Soren chair, chair. Thank you for the follow. I, I did kind of, I do kind of like it that way, where uh, they, like they did with royalty, where it's like, we're working on a new thing, but it's not Rimworld. We're hiring, but it's not Rimworld. And then they're like, oh, by the way, that thing that we're doing that wasn't Rimworld, it's not Rimworld. It's royalty. It's a Rimworld DLC. Believe it or not. When's it coming out? Tomorrow. <laughs> like, well, all right, nice. Mm -hmm. We just saved you. I don't know why I sent that many people, especially when we have stun as well. But. Better overkill than underkill. That's what I always say. Mm -hmm. 
do, 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 do. Royalty and mod they took over? Not that I'm aware. I mean, there were some mods that had some of the things that they released. But, I mean, there's so many mods for everything that no matter... Basically, no matter what they do, it's going to overlap with some mods. I don't think it was just a mod that they took over. Did the stream drop? Uh, let's see. Dropped frames, zero. Dropped frames, 0.0% 0 .0 in the last two hours. So, probably Twitch. Overkill's always enough. Stream's good. I think they've, they've definitely, uh, I remember right, I say definitely, no, I'm not sure. Pretty sure they have hired people that were uh, mod developers, though. <laughs> Stream's good. Anniversary's good. Content's good. Thanks, Wicked Agent. Overkill is not enough. Uh, we're going to let that stuff just deteriorate. All right. Trap tunnel should be good against the current number of raiders that we're getting. As long as they come from the front. Uh, finally getting, finally have enough wood to do that. So. Yeah, we need to really hear another Cobra. God, at least that one got to eat, I suppose. Freaking Cobras. The Chupa Cobra. So crazy. Player thing to you where the audio is losing tune. That's weird. Uh, have you tried refreshing? No one else has mentioned it, but. All right, so we release them. Good. Turn this back to a normal room. The Chupa Cobra. <laughs> Yes, anyone does it. The only problem is the covers die really quick. I mean, they're like glass cannons, high damage output, low health. Might still be worth. A transport pod crash. Who are you, Hamilton? They might auto join. They're 61. Your clothes can join us, though. Your clothes can join us. No beds. You got a comic searcher. Was it required research trial? Yep. Yeah, we just started, so. Sometimes we'll, uh, we'll hunt animals to make bed rolls quickly, but uh, it's a little bit scarier doing that. Hey, get back down here. A little bit scarier doing that when you don't have anything other than melee weapons, you know? But we are almost there. Change the research bench. No. Nah. New lovers, Jamie and Jer. Nice. They bonded off their name starting with J. The second thought, if you want to recruit people, Cobra shields might be a really bad thing. Yeah, that's true. Come on, Jamie, be happy. All right, you're still upset about your dead dogs. You'll be over them in nine days. Stupid cobra. Stupid cobra. 
All right. Uh, we need to get some things hauled in. Who's not doing too much? Okay, when you're not cooking, we'll have you hauling things in. Let's go ahead and do that here as well. <laughs> That's right. Do do you. I have a, a Mulan song in my head. Let's get down to business. Guess because we need to get down to business. That's the only thing I can think of. Also, we need to defeat the Hunts. <laughs> can you ever call him can't use legs? <laughs> yeah. You know what? If they survive their ordeal, then they will deserve a name. Until then, this is their name. In death, we have a name. His name is Robert Paulson. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. All right. Get that research done. Might die in a fire inferno. <laughs> Brain no work. Yeah. <laughs> Woozy, yeah. <laughs> Do, do, do. I wasn't able to play much of the gauntlet, no. I was only able to play a couple hours. Uh, I got to end of Act 2, and I realized I'm not going to have time to get to 90, so I just stopped. It was fun, though. I liked doing it, but I just don't have time. Between doing the stream full-time and working full-time and family and stuff. Yeah, maybe the next one. Unless <laughs> they can use their legs. Call them legs. They're just legs now. <laughs> some of the heat. Maybe I should do something about that. <laughs> What's the deal? They were an auto join with Paralytic Abasia. So they're really good, though. So we are going to recruit them. If they survive, they'll get a name. But this is an auto join with Paralytic Abasia. 24 days. Uh, Maximum. So that's one. you got to was Innocence. Yeah. I was actually surprised. I, I thought um, Mervelle would have been hard, but she was actually pretty easy because I waited until I got two Sapphire Rings. So I actually had maxed Cold Resist going in on it, even with a negative 20. She basically did no damage to me, which was nice. Kind of overprepared. It feels like that's what you got to do to all the bosses as you're leveling up through there, though. Do that too. Yeah. It just so happens I got the second one as a yellow ring off the ultimatum right before her. And it had like 30 cold res on it as the um, implicit. And then it also had like a plus four all res or something. So I was like, holy crap, that's a pretty good ring to get at the end of Act One. So I've had the exile, yeah. Yeah, I did have time to do the gauntlet, unfortunately. Slaver as well. We don't have enough money to buy any slaves, but they will protect us while they're here a little bit, so that's nice at least. So I ended up playing in the last three years. I'd have more if it wasn't for the stream, probably. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. R squared having a tantrum. It's not really anything you can break we care about, so. Well, he did break a door, which kind of sucks. Well, that's not true. I guess if he breaks one of these, it'd be annoying. Keep an eye on you. If you go after a research bench or a stove, we'll stop you. You imagine this in real life? You're so angry. You're you're punching holes through the drywall. And as you punch a hole through the drywall, someone's coming along with like spackling and immediately <laughs> just literally right behind you. Spackle that, sand that on out. See here, match the paint color. Done. <laughs> it's like 
I think that would make me more angry. Like, what are you doing? Um, I'm fixing this wall that you're destroying. If I wanted it fixed, I wouldn't have destroyed it in the first place. <laughs> Doo -doo. Oh my god, our first research is a Christmas miracle. Christmas miracle. Jamie, work on this bed. Yo, I'm trying to break stuff. <laughs> Punch a hole in the wall in your teens, your mom painted a flower around it. <laughs> then when you're angry, it doesn't look like a flower. It looks like a bullseye. <laughs> like, oh, that's, I guess that's where I'm supposed to punch again. Mm. The eclipse is over. Wooden beds. It's amazing what science can do for us here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you botched it? You botched it? It's a lot of wood you're botching over there. Oh, okay. Random guinea pig that a cobra killed. Shop the wood. Shop of the wood. The Chupa Cobra. Your clothes can join us. <laughs> you cannot. Your, your clothes are worthy of this colony, but not you. So we're rebuilding beds until they are at least normal. So, none of those poor beds for us. Jamie, build your own bed and sleep in it. Finner, welcome back. I like putting the head a bit near the door so they can lay down immediately as soon as they get into the room. It's entirely out of wood. It's probably pretty complicated. It's <laughs> a good point. I remember one run, for whatever reason, I don't know, I think we were lacking wood on the map or something. Got lots of stone, so we made beds out of stone we were talking about. Could you imagine your bed, literally every part of your bed's made out of marble? A pillow, just everything, everything's marble. Screw that, I would rather sleep on the ground. For sure. <laughs> um... Okay. Legs, you can have a bed if you survive. Marble and jungle, it'd be nice and cool though. Yeah. Maybe lay some of these jungle leaves on top of it. They say marble is a very soft stone. Plank on a food binge, it's a good one. Um, let's do a test of how many patches we need to up the beauty in here. So it's currently ugly. All right, let's take a look here. Let's start with uh, four, let's see what happens. Four patches. The ground, your bed is made of floor. <laughs> Steel bed, excuse me while I st step into my sleeping can. <laughs> Look at that, the beauty is already neutral. So going from awful to mediocre, just off four daylilies, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I don't know why I didn't put the original in. There, I'll fix it, all right? Or I get protests. Welcome to the queue. 
Rex Day, we'll, we'll end up converting to barracks. Yeah, I just want to initially try to get some uh, mood boost here to try to get some taming inspirations to get some early, really good animals. And we'll switch, most likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. Four flowers. It's crazy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Dirt floor, that's right. Ah, uh, this is a new run, yeah. New run. This is run number four. We are in the jungle now. jungle yeah I, elephants would be really good or rhinos um elephants would be ideal because they are so tanky deal so much damage and they uh, graze so it's like and it's a year long growing because we're in the jungle so elephants would be incredible to have so so good <laughs> there are a lot of pretty high wealth though but i think having a herd of elephants could pretty much handle most things for us. We had enough of them. I wonder how many elephants we could realistically keep before they decimated the plant life of a jungle. Can we get up to like 100 elephants? That would be crazy. Elephants are pretty good against mechs too. Yeah, those big tanky animals like megasaws, rhinos, elephants, those are all good against mechs. New colony, yep. Uh, elephants? Is it eight? I can't remember. Maybe theirs is higher. Yeah, I don't remember. I feel like it's... Wait, does it say in here still? It's only seven. I thought it was eight. It's only seven. Seven. Almost eight. It's close. Yeah, it's actually not too bad at all. Thrombos? Yeah, it'd be nice to have thrombos, but we're not going to be taming any thrombos. Hey, we got uh, boomalopes, too. We'll, we'll definitely tame some boomalopes. Is this another... This is another cobra carnage area. Oh my god, a single cobra killed 11 monkeys and poisoned them all. So it couldn't eat them. <laughs> I wish I would have seen this one, too. Cobras are ridiculous. Against things that don't fight back, get one shot. Eleven monkeys, freaking cobras, man. Jesus. It wasn't a normal cobra. It was the chupa cobra, the danger noodle, the nope rope strikes again. A cobra carnage convention. <laughs> Really, really silly. Hmm. Um. And clear off from this that this is critical for our stone chunks. Trash pan and danger needle. <laughs> Probably is one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're up to 17 again. Nice. Nice. All right, we are another transport pod crash. Jeez. Buffy, the vampire slayer. Come on, fascination, nimble. 10 melee. 13 mining. 48 years old. A little old. Well, fascination. Oh, man. She's addicted to embroidery. She's going to have a lot of breakdowns and stuff. Uh, she's also a pirate. Hmm. Well, we can get some medical experience at the very least. Even if we decide not to take them. Well, I need to make a little prison really quick. Oh, it was a good show. Yeah, I rewatched it a couple of years ago. Yeah, I need to make a little prison. Just a happy little prison. Just a happy little prison. 
definitely not to beat prisoners to get melee experience. That'd be terrible. I think I turned him off, didn't I? Yeah, I turned him off. Just stone chunks. We're ready to link again. Uh, do you want to go for another tier one or do you want to go straight into tier two? It's a question. I think I'm just going to rush to tier six. So, that's the answer. Plank. And link with that. If they die, they die. They die, they die. Yeah, I never watched Angel though. I liked Buffy overall. It's good. There were some. So there's some characters on Buffy that I could not stand when I rewatched it. I remembered how much I hated those characters. And uh, what's weird about it, when I was rewatching Buffy a couple years ago, I didn't tweet about it. I didn't do anything. Uh, I was talking to my wife, and I was like, uh, what was her name? Drusilla. Drusilla, my least favorite character. God, I hated that stupid character. And I, I would tell my, like, my wife and I watched it, and I was just, every time, I was like, oh, God. Just couldn't stand them, right? And then... Right after that, just by, I don't know how, why, what, but the actress that played Drusilla followed me on Twitter. Don't know. I have like uh, three famous people, maybe four, that follow me on Twitter, and she's one of them. And she followed me on Twitter, and I was like, maybe she is some sort of psychic vampire. But I had to go back into my tweets, and I was like, did I, did I type something? Did I do anything about Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Drusilla? No. She knew. It's like, I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. Hates me. I feel like Angel ended better than Buffy, though. I've never watched it. Maybe I should watch this sometime. It'll be each pretty interchangeable in quality. Yeah, I didn't like Drusilla at all. I also didn't like Faith. I know a lot of people, like, that was their favorite. Like, oh, Faith. I'm sure I know why, but my wife messaged her. <laughs> my husband absolutely hates you. Big Rimworld fan. lurking as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Plank. What's your tier two going to be? It's amazing moments, Angel. A lot of lousy episodes, though. All right. I was going to get some medical experience off them. Ah, they're dead. I didn't really want them. I was just doing it for medical and melee experience, but oh well. Do they have clothing that we want, though? Alright, Plank, what'd you get? Word of Joy, nice. You gotta be careful, Word of Joy does lower consciousness. The very first time, uh, right after Royalty came out, I didn't read it. I was like, Word of Joy, awesome! And I used it on someone, I put them in a coma for five days or whatever it is. Yeah, five days. They already had some brain issues. And, uh, I didn't read. Who reads things, you know? Word of Joy is really good. You just gotta be careful if they're already, uh, you know, not. not... Uh, I, I do individual rooms a lot in the very early game, especially with Tribal to try to get the moods up early, and then I'll switch as we get a couple research. I did that in the last time, too. We had some, uh, segmented rooms early. But yeah, I will switch over. Giant pink flower, that is something specific to the jungle. So, a rare giant flower which can be found deep in steaming jungles. You would think a giant flower would be beautiful, but this one looks and smells like rotting flesh. It's a minus six beauty. Oh, no thrombos yet. So once we once we get stone cutting, we're gonna um, hmm, we'll probably grab double strand next.
software to you. They don't really do much. Or in addition to the game. Yeah, I wish there was more to them. Like, it'd be kind of cool if you get some kind of special medicine from it. Maybe there's, like, a way to process this into, um, I don't know, like, Nutramine. <laughs> like, I don't know how, but if there was, like, a rare plant that was only on... I, would, I guess it would make that certain biome kind of OP, but, yeah. It'd be nice to be able to make Nutramine. They take a long time to... Dr yeah, like, the cave mushrooms and stuff. It seems like there should be something, but... That'd be a nice incentive to build on cave maps, too, because I try to avoid cave maps. I just don't want to deal with all that extra overhead mountain. If I forget and build near them and they start making more hives or whatever, it's like... It's free jelly. Yeah, there's probably a mod for it, I'm sure. So, I don't know how interesting it would be for you guys, but I kind of want to do a series on RimWorld where I beat every biome on... 500% no pause. And that's the only that's the only specification. Just to have it up. Just to have that playthrough. I Some of the biomes I've never played all the way through. It might be a, a little tedious watching the runs. I'd have to force myself to build differently on some of them on purpose. Like, like alright, this time I can't use barracks. This time I have to make a mega building. This time, every time I make a new room, it has to connect to a previous room. Stuff like that. Just to make it so that they're not copy carbon over to another biome, the exact same base and whatnot. But I would like to do Welcome that. Welcome to the queue. Uh, an Arcanine, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I missed that. I think Nidramine should be far produced from a farmable plant. Had to be brewed, so it takes a long time. Yeah, it would be nice. I There are definitely mods to produce Nutribene and stuff, but it'd be nice in the main game. We did Tundra with no cannibalism, yeah. Uh, that was before 500% existed, so it was on loot. It was on Merciless, which is 220%, but we did. Sea ice. It's been a while since I've done one of those too. But it'd be pretty fun. I think. Go from one extreme to the other. Maybe we do like the opposite ends of the extreme. So like do do ice sheets, then do extreme deserts, and then do tundra, and then desert. Something, I don't know. We could do the different starting uh Things too. I usually do Naked Brutality, but we could do some, like, Crash Landed and some Rich Explorer. Just some good variety. It'd be nice to have runs like that where I could just link them to people. They're going to prepare for a while. How many people we got? We got three in that group. Okay, so we're still at, like, five to eight raiders per raid. So this should be fine. They should all die to the traps, honestly. As long as no one breaks down, we should be alright. Perks pause, you have to do a run or you have to try and recruit every pawn. How's that perk rolled? Oh. Oh man, could you imagine a run of all gourmands? How much how much food we'd have to produce? Yeah, like doing a mountain map or a mountain base where we freeze the base, run so I can actually point it at its people and say, this is how you do one of those. Or one where we don't, and you have to deal with bugs, like, mm, here's this one. Yeah, I can do a vote, like, which one we do next, yeah. That would be a good idea, too. Mod for growing special materials, like Synthroid, Hyperweave, Nutrient for plants. Instead of using it, where they might be OP. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind whatever mods you want to use, obviously. Make the game however you, like, mod the game however you enjoy playing it. Um, however... I try to not use things that actually change the uh, workings of the game very much, as you know, like quality of life and there's some Borderlands stuff that we've, not Borderlands, but some, some like things that change it almost too much for me, but I still use. Uh, but someone posted on YouTube and they're like, why don't you just use a mod to make it so that traps don't cost as much material? And I was like, because I, I don't want to. <laughs> like, that's part of the struggle for me. You know? I don't mind if anyone uses them. Yeah, I was going to say Borderline. I said Borderlands at first. <laughs> Borderlands Rimworld.
Why don't you use a mud that plays a game for you? When's the right time to move by Phasic? We could actually do it now with this small of a base and probably get mood boost from it. I usually think it's a good time to do it once you have your outer walls done. You're not venturing outside of them that often. Borderlands. I wonder if they're, they should do, someone um, did an overhaul of uh, Mass Effect stuff, like Mass Effect Storytellers, items, factions, psionics. It'd be kind of cool to have other games brought in like that too. Like Borderlands, a psycho raid. Conditions such as no berries, no potatoes, no rice, ice sheet. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty interesting too. Yeah, it's a good idea. And then once one of those is done, take it out. Playing the aspect mod right now, how is it? Are you doing like the whole thing as well? Are you, uh... I thought about doing maybe just the storytellers and seeing how that was. That's a lot of downed pawns. Uh, Quick sleeper, super mutant night owl. Uh, maybe we'll decide. Let's just throw them in here. Tough. Greedy goes against our barracks play. Jealous does not, but either way, just capture them. Creepy breathing. <laughs> that one we don't want for sure. This one probably not either. Uh, they are the Savage Tribe as well, so we can't ally with them. Uh, I still might just capture and release. You can get some medical experience, which is pretty important. Catch and release. These ones, though, we might actually use one of them. So let's go ahead and tend three hours, five hours. Clothes, they're tribals. They probably don't have anything super awesome. Yeah. I don't know, that War Veil might come in handy. Uh, War Veils are pretty good, actually. But yeah, they're mainly just tribal wear. The Greedy guy's pretty nice melee too. Yeah, he's not bad at all. It just sucks that we'd have to do individual bedrooms and I, I plan on going to barracks because I want a lot of people, but with a small footprint, I don't know. Silver Tiger, welcome in. How's it going, Silver Tiger? How's life? It's all right. Surviving. Surviving. That one's going to be dead. Well, we don't really care about, but... This one's probably gonna die too. It has so many, so many spots there. Resort is terrible. Through's bad. We sleep with the ground bugs. They're very fun. So. Uh, well, they paid in blood to come here, so I can't return that to them. I can take more, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's not gonna make it. So the one that we're most likely to take looks like they're going to make it. So that's good, at least. We gotta get all this switched over. All right, frog. Looks like you're gonna live. We might. Recruit you, man. You're so bad at melee. Another builder is always good, though. Super immune is great. Quick sleeper is good. Night owl. Uh, you know what? Night owl might interfere with quick sleeper. Like those two might not be great to have together, but we can keep them happy. It's all right. We'll reduce resistance then decide later. But. Food binge. It's fine. It's fine.
Okay. Infection. Uh, all right, we'll give you some herbal medicine. So there's Jairus down there. Oh, it's so dirty in there though. What's it in? Faction in the right lung. I think it, uh, what well, it, it's, they gain immunity faster, so I, I doubt he's gonna die from it. I think it works towards, uh, infections, doesn't it? I think so. Can't remember 100%. Hey, cargo pods. Whoa, 26 medicine. This is the run. Holy crap. Your retaliate run, you've been trying, getting better handle on getting established quicker. I see you use that little uh trap tunnel connecting into your into your room though on your screenshot. That, that helps a lot. Once I discovered that little uh tactic it helps in negative brutality so much. He isn't supposed to die, Randy. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Randy says no. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, frog. Chair. You're gonna have to tend to him again. Frog's trying his best to die. 70% tins on herbal medicine. That's good. How many infections can we fit in this poor fellow? <laughs> Gotta get those traps back up. Made that mistake last run. Not getting those back up immediately. Let's not do that this time. I fit so many infections to this guy. Slap him on top of the head. <laughs> we make spike traps out of corn. Get a mod for that. Get around with wall borders before call the moment. So able to get Rise going early as well. That's nice, dude. So you're doing naked brutality for the, or trying to win on naked brutality for the first time. Um, are you like picking a decent map or are you doing are you doing as far as your maps go? Uh, actually, I'm gonna let these just rot. The old rearmable deadfall traps. Yeah, it is kind of weird that these are single-use traps. Just completely destroyed every time they get used. Like, what? You say so. Random map. It's cool mode. That's pretty fun. Pretty cool. I think that's fun. Corn plant spike traps, yeah. <laughs> Dry those cobs out. Sharpen them to up. They're already kind of pointy. Fling those through some tribal's heart. Just imagine people telling them they get a letter or something. Sorry, ma'am, your your husband's not coming home. What? What? What happened? Took a corn cob through the heart. <laughs> You playing against Randy or Cassandra or Corn Cobb through the heart? Never saw it coming. Can't prepare for that. Your power, but making the cost for steel each time the use. Yeah, I think steel trap is what maybe around a hundred wealth too. So, and it takes those armored people towards the end. It's probably like four, three to four traps per person. It's probably still worth it, but that's a lot of steel and to rebuild and rearm it. Yeah. To be fair, that would be a very rim world way to die. <laughs> Mission, or are they just doing it during rec time? I have it scheduled in instead of rec time. So. Uh, was it cord? Yeah. Yeah, but I have it scheduled in. Because they get recreation from meditating. Steel traps around 
now for mech raids. That's what I try to do too. So when I'm playing a normal playthrough, what I typically end up doing is I make the traps towards the opening or the ones that are first triggered out of stone or wood, mainly wood. And then as you get into the actual kill area, those ones are the steel ones because most things that make it that far are things that you're, you really need to take out, like super armored people or, you know, the centipedes or whatever. Whatever makes it that far, you know, that's worth using the steel on. But I don't know how much we're going to, maybe that's going to matter in this one, but. So we'll get our stones cut. Get all this changed over to stone. That's actually gonna lower our wealth, oddly enough. Stone is just a little bit, stone wall is just a little bit lower wealth than wood wall, which is weird, but it's so counterintuitive. You would think like the progression of wood to stone would increase the wealth, like in most games. Like take anything like Terraria or Minecraft or like any, any game where you go through the tiers like that. You're gonna think that a wood armor is less value than like, or a wood pickaxe is less value than a stone one, but stop cutting down the poor trees. The jungle will survive. <laughs> it's all rich mahogany. <laughs> Comment, Randy slapped you, kidnapped a colonist, set your base on fire. <laughs> Sounds about right. So uh, cutting blocks does not give you any crafting experience. It doesn't even use your crafting skill. It's just global work speed. So we'll put that as a four on people. Jungle, find out next time. Mr. D, 50 year old stew keeper named Mr. D begging to join. You know you want the D, the Mr. D. <laughs> Lots of thunderstorms. Who knew it'd be so rainy in the rainforest? Crazy, crazy. Doo, 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 doo. Marble, look at that. Tomorrow we start changing out our walls. All right, it is tomorrow. Don't have replaced stuff, unfortunately. So we have to do it the old fashioned way. Do you know how let me do each set? It's the same for pond without kill issues. Um Yeah, I mean traits affect it as well, so things like um Industrious, like industrious, would be able to cut blocks way faster. Uh, like I said, increase manipulation from whatever, any kind of implants, bionics that they have that increases manipulation. Um, what's one of them where you had like trauma savant with a plus 50% manipulation? Things like that, yeah. What is it really since the material to be fair? Yeah, yeah. So sign when you're trying to set up per work schedule. I think nothing else to call any perfect ever either though. <laughs> yeah, perfection does not exist in Rimworld. That's for sure. Do I have specialized or something? Everyone cut stone at the same speed? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, you know what I haven't checked though? Is they don't get experience from it. It's still a crafting skill. Do they still get the mood boost for having a burning passion? So even though the burning passion in crafting is not going to help them while crafting stones, uh, I imagine they probably still get the mood boost from it. But I haven't actually checked. Never thought about it. Slaver, Jesus. Yeah, a long time ago, you used to get skill, uh, you used to get crafting experience for cutting blocks, yeah. 
Uh, 17 days. Look at that. They will get over their withdrawal phase. Hopefully, that's how it's up. Should have done this wall first, actually, but whatever. Yeah. I kind of wish they... It would have been nice if they left it there and it would just be really low experience or something, you know? I like those trade-offs like that. It's like, all right, you want to get your crafting up by cutting blocks? You're going to end up raising your wealth and having so many blocks. You're going to need that extra crafting to make good enough weapons to survive what's going to happen because of that increased wealth. But it is not the case. Uh, there's, there's, of course, a mod that resets that back to how it used to be, but... The barracks? Uh, we will be doing a barracks, yeah. Just initially, so we get some, uh, some research done. Or, what's it up? How's it going, bro? <laughs> I still think barracks are better in the long run for this, this playthrough, but... And in general. Most of the time. Who is this? <laughs> we don't have enough money to give the slavers anything to buy any of the slaves, so I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. They probably have the, the best pawn I've ever seen in the game. We won't be able to get him. It's way it goes. Link to the side tree. You've got a couple of ponds with artistic focus. Can't link to the tree for side abilities. You have to have natural meditation to link. So if you hover over their childhood, it says unlock meditation focus type natural. So you can have anyone like meditate there, but they can't link to it unless they have that natural background. So look at their childhood. Make sure they have unlocked meditation focus type natural. If they have that, once you have 20 grass, you click them, you right click on the tree and you'll have the option to link. me not with your flesh peddling. walk to a store and actually buy a graphics card. Uh, I thought that age was was a myth. Yeah, that sucks. I, I actually need one for my stream PC, but 1080 starting to show its age. Yeah. Very fortunate that my gaming PC at least has a 2070 that I've had for years, but my stream PC needs, a, needs an upgrade. I can't really stream any uh, games with high like fast movement, high action stuff anymore. So any even like a 2060 would be fine, but you can't even get those. Growing corn, the possibilities on 6060 are endless, I know. We are really overproducing food. I gotta be careful. Checks and such. The 2070 super. I can drive three hours to um, a micro center. It's an option on a day when they get cards in. Closest one to me is in, well, there's one like two hours for me, like Cincinnati, <laughs> so. Road trip, tired of waiting for a 38, 30, 90. 
Uh, didn't they say that they're going to do something with the 4000 series that's supposed to make it so it's not like there's some kind of safeguard in there to keep it from mining cryptocurrency. I don't, I don't remember. I remember, I don't remember exactly, but I do remember some kind of thing that they released saying we're going to try on the next generation to make sure it's not, it's good for gaming, but not good for mining somehow. I don't know how they're going to do that. I'm sure it'll be cracked anyway. So it's not just about mining either. It's scalping and the amount of people that uh, are just looking to upgrade in general is high too. It's like, do you sign mining firmware? Yeah, firmware gets disabled really quickly. Yeah. I don't know how they would do it. They made it. They said they were going to do that this generation too. Yeah. It's still too profitable. Graphics cards aren't used for running. Just CPUs. Alright, it's uh, people crazy. The TI models, you think are that way? Do you not even have a roof over your home? Oh, he doesn't. Right. Over your prison. So I'm decided if we're gonna take you. But saw someone my a miner using two dozen Lenovo laptops. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this off today. I haven't seen that. Well, I've learned people, I don't know, they felt this like thing that they're so like, not just passionate, like fanatical about that doesn't matter or make sense. And they just, they will die on that hill no matter what. Sometimes it's things that are very small. Like, uh, some of you probably haven't heard this. You haven't been here before, but we had someone that got really mad because I called a took a a beanie so a couple of years ago i was playing during the winter and i was streaming downstairs it's a lot colder down there in that room and i was on the stream with a beanie and they came in they're like they said something like oh i someone someone else asked they're like hey what's going on i know they're the same thing that's why i'm saying it's so stupid but anyway uh someone was in there like hey why are you wearing that uh wearing that is you know is it cold there right now or something i was like oh the beanie yeah and we started talking about um, those hats, right? And this person got really angry. And they type in the chat, and this is not like a troll. So this person had been here like 180 hours or something. And they were like, it's not an effing beanie. It's called a toque. And they were, they started going off. They were so angry. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like, wh why? Why is this like the, the hill you want to die on about this? It's just, it's a regional difference. It's called different things, different places. Where I grew up, it was called a toboggan, or boggan for short. Uh, places called them skull caps, but everywhere I moved around, it was a beanie. But this person was, like, furious. And I had to ban them. It was one of the first bans of the channel ever. They were just going off. I don't know, like, did their family invent the toque? Like, they were so invested in the word being... T but, uh, yeah, I don't know. People get, like really over invested in these meaningless little things yeah it's bogging the sled with a curved front in some places yeah it's a toque yeah <laughs> i thought they were joking at first but they like they went on our modest fellowship expands praise the sub alice to the rescue uh alice thank you for the twitch prime thank you alice appreciate the support much loved alice are you seriously calling it a bug and a toque? Are you kidding me? Fool of a toque. Uh, so I'm going to probably grab complex clothing and then long blades. I saw you pause. God. That guy. 
sad wandering. Whatever. Sure, it sucks. New lovers. That's a pirate. I didn't even get to see who you hooking up with. Plank and bats a pirate. Nice. Look at you, frog. You're going to get a bed. Moving up in the worlds. Moving up in the worlds. What? No. I didn't mean to do that. That's weird. You call any? Yeah. Tip number four. It's Tiberius. The second, but we're just naming it the first. Yeah, Jamie. Tiberius 2, basically. That's what Stasis welcome in. Yeah, we had to restart. It's alright. This is a run, though, so it doesn't matter. All previous runs were just warm ups for the real thing. This jungle map is the one that we will succeed on. 100%. I wish that uh, bulk goods trader would come back. We got them here really early before we even had any, like, rice or anything. I haven't seen them since. Just been slavers ever since. No more wood walls than jungle map. Yeah, that'll be a nice change. That's a pirate and... I forget already. Plain right. Visitors. Uh, all right. Do the same over here. So technically cut the corners off, I suppose, but we're like Wendy's. We don't cut corners. Cut lots of corners. <laughs> oh no, the three lonely animal beds, yeah. Is he over his dead pets yet? Who was that? Yeah, they're over it. So I understand sled. Yeah, well, I mean, it is, but the whole, uh, the point of it was that things are just called differently in different places, and I don't know why it bothers people, like, I don't care. Point of language is, like, get your thought into someone else's head. I don't, I don't really care. You grew up in a Welcome regional back. place that calls things Your different things than me. Whatever. If I don't understand it, I'll learn it pretty quickly. But there's some people that get really angry about it. Yeah, toboggan, um, type sled, where I was from, toboggan was a uh, they called uh, beanies or toques, and it was we called them boggins for short. All words are made up words. They are just sounds. Uh, stasis, 16 months. Thank you, Stasis. It's called a skull mitten. Toque is clearly a made up word. <laughs> uh, thank you, Stasis. I appreciate it. Ozzy, welcome in. Wash instead of wash drives you bad some days. Yeah, that's what it is from where I'm from. I'm from southeastern Tennessee. I'm from Appalachia. Our community Appalachia. Grows. And that's exactly what it's called there. It's wash instead of wash. Also, where I'm from, we've had this conversation before too. Where I'm from, every carbonated drink, every soda is a Coke. I don't call it like that anymore. I've uh, I moved around and stuff a lot, changed my accent and a lot of other things. Where I'm from, everything's a Coke. So if you go to a restaurant where I'm from and... Uh, they'll ask you what kind of Coke you want. They, they might only serve Pepsi products. They're like, what kind of Coke you want? I think I'll have a Dr. Pepper Coke, you know? <laughs> That's just what it is where I'm from. Warder, yep. I'll have one Coca Coke, please. Ozzy the the follow. Stocky, welcome in. Flesh person, welcome in. Yeah, right, like, misunderstanding, but actually getting angry. That on the table it means we're gonna talk about it. Or as it means we'll deal with it later. Budget first started use it. 
Do you mean to finish this now or later? Yeah. All right, time to link again. Coke headquarters is. There's definitely a save around here. Yeah, there's a there's a Coke uh, place in Chattanooga, which was pretty close to where I grew up. I used to go on field trips to the Coke factory in Chattanooga in like middle school, elementary school. Can't just pop. Yeah. Pop, soda pop, soda, and then Coke. <laughs> How you order a Coke classic? Coke. Chattanooga is an amazing word. It's a Native American word. A lot of the cities down there are named after Native Americans and stuff. It's the least we can do after killing most of them and, you know, raping and pillaging and diseasing and slaughtering. Ah, we can name, we can name some cities after them. It's fine. A gift. Whoa, four components. I'll take that. You, you like the word Chattanooga. Wait until you hear about the Chattahoochee. And you're like, no, this can't be a real word. Chattahoochee? You're absolutely making this up. No, Inspector. I'm not. Like, Tiberius. Uh, this is a new run, yeah. yeah. Let's go on Planet Ace. Yeah, we had to abandon that one, unfortunately. Crazy how learning it's a soft drink. Quote. Wait, what did I say that was a quote? Uh, if you do hear something that you want quoted and the mods that are around, you just post it in the Discord and they'll get it added. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Oh boy, I heard that a lot when I was growing up. Chattanooga Choo Choo. Yeah, that's all terrible though. Some sort of spelling savant. Another amazing word. <laughs> All right, Plank, what did you get? Plank. Chaos skip. This is the run. We got stun, we got chaos skip. We didn't get those at all last time. This is the run. Blessed by RNG. Lake Titicaca. <laughs> Even though it has nothing to do with it, uh, that will always remind me of Ace Ventura 2. Chicago. No, no, this is a new run. This is run number four, yeah. It's completely new today. A mech drop in our base in just a few minutes. Oh yeah, Beavis is about to do American, yeah. Almost over it. Chicago. Oh, yeah. You can throw that in uh, Discord if you want. A mod will add it. Thank you. I appreciate people grabbing their quotes and stuff and clips and whatnot. It all, it all helps me out. Uh, we can actually put you in this room now, right? Look at you, graduating to a bed. Frog, you have a bed, sleep in it. All right, there we go. What do you mean my supply of gift subs ran out? Let's go an ocean, welcome in, what? <laughs> Is Twitch saying that to you? All right, uh, let's get this actually fixed. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty so is greatly appreciated. Ocean, thank you for the resub. That's what you mean. Three months doing it manually. Thank you, Ocean. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the resub. <laughs> they leave their war mask on during Lovin. How much Lovin did they get? Lovin times two. You guys remember in the last colony we had someone get up to Lovin times seven? What the crap? That's the highest I've ever seen it. How do you get to Lovin times seven? Jesus.
times seven. Seven times per night, yeah. It's part of the other benefit of biphasic sleep schedule. You know, that's a good point, actually. I didn't even put that in. Uh, I'm gonna make a really short guide about it and why I use it. That's another good point, is uh, if you have a couple that's on biphasic, they're getting more 11 per day on average. So, yeah, we don't have to worry about pregnancy either. That's a good point. A little while since rain hit us. We had some raids right on top of each other, though. Literally, we had two raids hit us where they were enemies of each other. In fact, the fifth grade shows proved to be your geography project, just so you could say Titi Kaka several times for the class. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Buff by Jer. Jer's in a relationship. Leave him alone. Oh man. Jer, are you like beautiful or something? No. <laughs> Sorry, Jer, you're not beautiful at all. The 80s were a simpler time. Did the teacher catch on at all? <laughs> Did the other children laugh? I hope so. Come on, Arthur. So, do you want to try? Yeah. So, basically, before I started this challenge, I told myself that there's probably no way we can literally just do it fighting face to face. We're gonna need a lot of animals, a lot of side casting, and a lot of allies. And last time, for whatever reason, I kind of lost sight of that, and I started going more into a traditional playthrough, even though we couldn't defend like a traditional playthrough. So this time I want to, uh, I'm racing to get to tier six on Psycasters much more quickly. We already have someone that's tier three and we're, you know, just now in the second season. Uh, I'm going to work on getting people with high animals so we can get some more animal inspirations, get some like elephants or something going. Uh, and I want to try to beeline more to uh, the ability to make allies. And especially with getting someone to a knight or higher in the empire. Uh, and focus less after we get to uh, microelectronics. Focus less on getting to things like multi analyzers and stuff. Especially with with tribal, we're probably gonna die getting to these unless we've really stabilized, got a really good foothold here. So I think I'm gonna get to microelectronics and get transport pods, shields, that kind of stuff, deep drilling, and stay in this tech level for quite a while. Whereas before we were kind of trying to get towards the ship, maybe a little too quickly for a tribal. The great teachers didn't do the principal more times than any other in your career. Oh, perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying, Planet Ace. Yeah, this is attempt number four, so it's a completely new run. Yeah. Just started it today. We're in the jungle now, too. No mountain, open jungle. Job frog, look at you now. Just level up once you research now. It's probably big. Miss two. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It's kind of crazy that tribals, they can learn how to like make part of a spaceship, but their research is still like neol Neolithic at that point. It's like, it never changes. Yeah, that would help a lot, but. Hit two in a row. Oh, the prison escape, yeah. Mm -hmm. I gotta remember who our people are these days. So, Jer is our traitor. You gotta remember that. 
All right, tribals, what do you want? Oh, they have very little money. We'll lose, uh... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to like 105 today here. There's a heat wave coming through and what's bad about it, there's storms right behind it. So we're supposed to get some really bad storms tomorrow, damaging wind type storms during stream time. Hopefully uh, it's all good and I can stream and nothing worse happens, but yeah, it's supposed to be extremely hot today. Yeah, so they changed how prison breaks work. Uh, maybe, even, what was that, 1.1 or something like that? I don't know. But now when there's an actual prison break event, they literally just open the door. 300, cold times, yeah, it's crazy. It's super hot. Thunderstorm's up there today, North. Uh, pretty warm and raining. You got some crazy ones? You wonder if yours are heading my way? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know why they changed that event. It's really annoying, though. They just suddenly can open the door. They realize. Like, Wait a second. There's no lock on this. Why do I leave internal doors open? You mean this one? So that raiders will, will path through it and I don't forget to open it when they're here. Or are you talking about these ones? These ones are to get uh, passive cooling. Yeah, this is so we don't have to use as many passive coolers in here. So, temporary. We don't have vents yet, because we're tribal. So, that's why. <clears throat> Another transport pod crash. Oh, seven hours. Whoa, look at you. Holy crap. And cable of skilled labor, cable of firefighting, cable of intellect, cable of hauling. Just a pyromaniac. Slow learner. Good lord, man. You are quite terrible. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, I'd let the temperature pass through. The rescue of a 50-year-old someone, someone. Escaped convict. No. And no wonder they didn't want him. Jesus. We need the rest of this marble done. Infection. Frog, how many infections are you going to have, man? He's super immune, at least. Time for our first mechs. Yayo song, death comes for us all. Some of us sooner than others. Back up to eight grass, nice. How long until they're, look, they're over their addiction. Hooray, look at you. Some time. It's in April next week. Yeah, yeah, have here as well. Heads up, what's coming? You knew Yaya was here. Ah, uh, they were a paralytic of Bayesia, Arjun.
as well. Good enough. That'll be good for a while. Accord. Yeah, what's going on, Accord? We're buffed by Jair. Jeez, come on. Come on. He's in a relationship. Leave him alone. Leave her alone. Finish this off. One thing you can't do, everything needs to be square. Yeah, it's a little different for me too. But going with necessity this time. doing on that tree 13 of 20 might be barracks time here real soon Just go ahead and finish this. We have we have enough marble. Yeah. Let's get all this wood out of here. Royal tribute collector. That's our first. <clears throat> what? No mechs? Weather forecasters have it easy, especially here. Well, in a lot of places, like the places where the weather is the same all the time. It's like picked a good job. Should have been a meteorologist. Meteorologist uh, visited my kindergarten, I remember. And after he came, I was like, I'm gonna be a meteorologist. And I think I forgot about it a week later. Psychic droner off map with five pirates already. I hate those friggin' events. Uh, we don't have any meat, so... You guys are just gonna have to eat raw food. We gotta go. I can't let it build up like last time. We do have Chaos Skip, and we got, uh, Stun at least. Alright. So, let's go ahead and switch over to food restrictions. Uh, it's like lavish. You guys are gonna have to eat raw food. Hopefully you don't get a lot of food poisoning while you're there. Oh, 1.6. We're gonna be gone for like four days more than likely. I wanna leave one person back. Who's like our best naked brutality pawn? Constru we gotta take you with us. Uh, construction, plants. So, Jamie, looks like you might stay back. Just in case the worst happens. Alright, Jamie. Tell them of our tale. Take our dead dog with us? No.
that's way more than enough. Ah, uh, we should be safe. All right, let's go. We might have to settle somewhere. Have faith in puns. Changes every hour of the weather, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. A lot of times, it's funny. I know what the percentages mean, but it's just funny sometimes they're like, 50% chance of rain. It's like, well, I could have flipped a coin. Thanks. Appreciate your uh, expert analysis. Here we go. I wonder if I had sent Jamie if we'd have gotten a Man in Black event here since uh, Legs is down. It's going Finn. Welcome in. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, it's peaceful. All right. I thought it was a ransom thing at first or whatever. It's like extortion or anything. Give us plank box or we will attack you. There are 58 of us. All right, I guess I just die. Oh, man. We ran into two trade groups on the way. Uh, hopefully this goes well. Need a warden? Oh yeah, Jamie. Uh, need some wardening while they're gone. Excellent. You guys gonna make it there if we have to camp? Oh come on, we're so close. Don't have to camp right outside of it. Yeah, they're gonna make it. All right. Let's see what we got here. All melee. All right, nice. Goodbye. Court alone, Jesus. I swear, you jerk. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, man. I don't know what that guy had. He was, like, going to town, though. <sighs> Poor guy ripped up. Let's try and get some, uh... Infection. I almost said infestations. Oh, yeah, if he gets infestations in his wounds, we got a big problem on our hands. <laughs> Still a solar panel? Uh, they're not. You can't. We can deconstruct it, but you can't take them with you unless you have minify everything. I think.
Oh, wait, I meant to strip them really quick. Um, yeah, screw it. They're gonna slow us down a lot. Nah, not really. That's good enough, I think. There we go. They did it. Now I just gotta get home without a cord dying of a, uh, with infection. We'll be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and split the YouTube recording here. I should have already split it. I meant to do it at two hours. We're at over three. Uh, I'll go ahead and split that. It's a good place to stop, though. But stream is gonna keep going.